So here we are on the island of Noirmoutier in the northern western part of France. We're about to take part in a fishing competition. Once you get the fishing bug, it never leaves you and makes you do some incredible things, like, for example, getting up before dawn and going out to sea on a day like this. Not the ideal. The Barracuda Tour is an event organized by the French boatyard Beneteau, where 20 French crews go up against each other in a fishing competition that's held in three different locations. There are two Italian boats in this particular competition, and ours, for the boat show has a secret weapon, the professional sporting fisherman Sandro Bonafaro. Sandro, so here we are preparing for this competition, and I see that you're holding some of the jury's chosen tools. Yeah, the organizers supplied them, and now we're preparing them as best we can. We've attached fine fishing line that they gave us, small bait, and we're starting to see, using a pretty superficial strategy, how things are going. In the meantime, the other crews have tools that hold a little more weight, and they too have a secret weapon, the famous beginner's luck. We're here on a splendid boat in fabulous company, so it's already turning out to be a wonderful day full of memories waiting to be created. So what are the fishing techniques going to be? We're mainly going to be spinning, which means throwing the artificial bait out and pulling it back in, simulating the movement of fish bait, and hoping some predator's going to snap them up. Is there just one type of fish to catch? Mainly sea bass, yes, but here they need to be at least 42 centimeters long, after which the rules are very simple and clear. Add up the length of fish, and obviously, he who wins has the longest measurement lengthways. Switch on the engine and let's see how this competition unfolds. Our team also includes Paolo Ilariuzzi from Suzuki Italia. I've noticed that all the Barracuda boats have Suzuki engines. Sì, abbiamo voluto esserci anche noi oggi di Suzuki Italia qui a Normotier in Francia a consolidamento della partnership commerciale europea. That's right, even Suzuki Italy wanted to be here in Normotier in France so they could consolidate the Suzuki Beneteau European partnership here in Europe. The engines on these boats are DF 150 TGs, the latest drive by wire engines, launched onto the market about a year ago. So they're lovely boats, with top performance, thanks to the Suzuki engines. It's a versatile engine, adapts to fast boats as well as fishing boats. Listen how quiet it is when it's idling. Esatto, il 150 soprattutto è uno dei motori preferiti proprio dei pescatori, grazie, come dicevi tu, alla sua versatilità. Exactly, the 150 is one of the fishermen's favorites because of the versatility you mentioned, its ability to resist and how well it is to sail. It means it's ideal for anyone who wants to just go sailing or who actually wants to do a bit of fishing. We're getting ready to set off. They've given us the green light. The competition has begun. Here we are in the fishing zone. Sandro is studying the exact point to launch the first bait. I've prepared a little tackle, Paolo. I've made a hook type thing of nylon which needs to be held overboard really. Let's say the knot, it needs to be kept away from the fishing rod rings so it can cast more easily. And it goes a bit like this, casting the bait, leaving it to fall to the bottom and then simply moving it around, making these silicon bait move close to the bottom. It's a continuous challenge between the fishermen themselves. 
They observe, scrutinize, stick close to, and even copy each other. If someone is in the right place at the right time, well, even the others will benefit there too. We're in the Atlantico, but close to the coast, and need to pay attention to the map, because there are rocks showing. And as soon as they are slightly submerged, they can't be seen. And that could be really dangerous. Around here, you need to remember another thing too. The tide sometimes can have a difference of 4.5 meters from its highest point to the lowest. And whilst we're moving so slowly, let's take a look at the echo sounder to see whether there are any fish nearby. Look at how important electronics are in a situation like this. They show you where the rocks are, which you wouldn't see otherwise. There's no doubt about this, rocks. Well, I think I might even try to fish myself now. Perfect. It's a bit left, but it's a good start. If you pull the line taut, you need to let it down to the bottom. So every once in a while you pull it back, and then you will feel it. When it pulls, slacken it off. And then when it's pulling absolutely taut and on the bottom, pull it a bit more then give it some slack. Sandro, how long does this fishing competition go for? I think it's about six hours, so we finish at one. We set off at 7, 7.30, something like that. I noticed you're giving out refreshments. Have we got something to eat too? Of course, there's water, food and everything else necessary for a morning on the sea. Shall we switch places then, Sandro? OK, yes. We haven't been very lucky. Let's go find another point to fish. I think it's pretty dark down there. I think it's raining. And Sandro says when it rains, there's more fish. No one has signaled that they've got a fish yet on the radio. We're all equal still. We found an area where there are rocks, which might be interesting for fishing. We're approaching slowly because the bottom is particularly dangerous. Well done, Paolo. Great fish. Unfortunately, though, this one doesn't count in this classification, so we're going to throw it back. Wonderful colours, great fish. This isn't going well, we're not catching anything, so I'm giving up the helm for a while to pitch in. So back I go. <laughs> Where's my bait gone? At this point, the current is from the south-southeast. Here we can discover a little bit, and there might be a little bit more current. Might be a good place, no? For sure, the current is a very important factor for predators, because a big predator takes advantage of his stronger swimming skills. He who's superior to the fish bait tends to go hunting in this area, something like this. Your guess is definitely a good one, and I agree. Let's try and see how it goes. Fingers crossed. A little fish, eh? And you thought there was a stronger current here, Sandro? Yep, with a little patience, we can try to get closer to the boat.
brilliant. Yes, yes, yes. Look, there's something. Look, we're pulling even without the net. Right, we want the grandfather, though. OK, Sandro, it's one o'clock now. We've got to finish up. OK, Maurizio, let's gather up everything and go and weigh the fish. Measure up together with all the other crews. We'll wait outside the port and see what everyone else has really got. Back to the dials. It's OK, go on. Go on, try and measure up. Nothing. Zero. For one centimetre. How much do you like to stay on the sea, Sandro? A lot, you know that, Maurizio. And then there's the facts that we're up against the experts here. Uh, yes, yes. These fishermen know the territory, this area. They know the colour of the base, the ebb and flow of the tides. But we've done our best and managed some results. We didn't do too badly. No, can't say we did. At least there's the satisfaction that we got just as good as anyone else. Not quite enough for dinner, but... Oh well, we can all diet a bit.